example, South Africa is all too familiar with corruption and the country needs moral regeneration. This is a recurring thought that's been echoed for more than a decade now, but what is moral regeneration exactly and how can it be realistically achieved? We actually have what's called a moral regeneration movement, which aims to build a more caring society overall. And as we approach the municipal polls, the movement's got a charter of election ethics for all political parties to uphold. The movement's Dr. Gareth Bennyworth is an MRM board member and joins us live now. Uh, Dr. Gareth, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, I remember when the movement was launched and it was taken very seriously and was done uh, with a lot of buy-in from politicians and civil society. Correct. I mean, it goes back to 2002. And in that context, I mean, if we think about it then, the society that we live in now was only eight years or so into the post-democratic project. Circumstances were very different then to those that we actually are confronted with now and live with on a daily reality, as we've seen. And as you mentioned previously about, you know, the local government elections and also the challenges that are faced in society, but, you know, the moral generation movement is a, is a non-prescriptive and certainly a non-partisan movement. It seeks not to prescribe to the political parties and broader society as a whole, but rather to engage in a dialogue that reaches an understanding around what is, in fact, the common good. And that is something that needs to be unpacked. I mean, if we look now in the post-COVID, we're not even post-COVID yet, but in the sort of COVID impact that it's had, not only on the world, but our society too, on the economic level, on the social level and the political level and also as symptomized by the recent uh, let's call it public disturbances in KZN and Gauteng we do face a number of challenges Garth, which in as a movement we think address. Garth, uh, yes, what obligation is there for political parties ahead of municipal elections to prescribe and uh, sign up if you like to uh, the moral regeneration movement's code of ethics. Well, I mean, let's look at let's look at the national level on one level, and also let's look at the local level on another, because now we are facing local government elections, and it's in the it's in the local government space that we've seen um, infrastructural and systemic collapse in many cases, and dysfunctional municipalities under administration or facing that sort of scenario. And it's at the local level where, in fact, um, the impact of what is going on is actually felt by the ordinary citizen who is vulnerable in many respects, not only to broader systemic issues in a post-apartheid society, but also vulnerable to dysfunctional local government. And that is where, in fact, the, the impact of the democratic project is most felt in a positive or negative sense. And therefore, that is where the challenge lies. I mean, we can talk on a national level, which we do and engage on a national level, but it's actually at the local level where we find most of the challenges that confront people in their daily lives. And that is something which we as a movement, we're not an organization, we're a movement that actually seeks to promote a, a, a series of common good um, and shared values and also social cohesion. Now, those are very large concepts. The question is how to actually do it. I mean, one can't prescribe, but one can certainly create an enabling framework of dialogue where, in fact, we actually have a shared set of common values and distill that or instill that where possible at a local level. How successful have you been in getting people to come on board uh, and meet you at least halfway as we head to the polls? Well, the thing is, you know, again, everything is resource driven or, or the challenges of, of available resources. So we have had successes in the past and we are actually experiencing successes, but it's, it's an enormous undertaking. And as said earlier, you know, this, the, the entire scenario has changed. What with the impacts of COVID and the economic impacts thereof and are still unfolding. So the challenges are larger in certain respects. The resource gap is what it is. Um, one can do with what one has available. But yet uh, there are ways that uh, we are looking at as a movement to actually address this. Um, so yes, work in progress most definitely, which it has been with a greater series of challenges than when we originally set off in 2002, which is in a different world almost then. All right, thank you so much for your time. Moral Regeneration Movement's Garth Bennyworth.